I own a 2003 Honda Civic LX, and uh, I have, for about a year now, been popping off the Diagnostic Code 1457, which is an EVAP uh, leak. And a lot of people are saying that there's this canister that leaks. So I found underneath the passenger wheel back in here. Uh, I have already taken the cap off, What you can do. So, right here are four tangs that you can pry back and pop the cap off. Uh, because the, I don't know if you can see, but right here the bolt is completely rusted and you're not going to be able to get that out without breaking it. So I thought I'd just take the cap off and lo and behold there is the, uh, the leak. So what I'm going to do there is I have a little stone, I'll try and grind that down nice and smooth. And uh, inside I already have the top piece. I'll show you that next. So here's the top piece. Uh, just a rubber hose sits over the top of this guy. You got the four uh, hold down locations. On the inside was this rubber ring. Still got a little bit of life in it. it just needs some major cleaning up. Uh, there's a spring and another valve. Just sit there. So hopefully it comes out. All of this rust, of course, is where the water is getting in and creating the leak. So I think once I clean all that up, put it back together, it should work. What are you doing? Okay. And here it is when it's all cleaned up and put back um, together. I'll clean up real nice. Um, just some surface rust on plastic, so no big, no big deal there. Just uh, used a bit of a soft bristle brush, uh, and then uh, I got some uh, dielectric grease and uh, put it all over the O-ring, surface coated it, and this part is done. Now I just gotta go back underneath the car, try and get that surface all prepped up. Hopefully I'll become uh, pretty clean and uh, rust free and uh, put her back together. Well, believe it or not, I actually did clean it. Uh, tried surface grinding it a little bit. Try to get a little flat, get off some of that rust. I uh, hope that's gonna be enough. Put her back together and uh, I think I'll actually add a layer of uh, silicone around the outside of it. It's uh, pretty easy to access. So, we'll give that a shot. Alright, put it here, back together. Next I'm going to try and add a little bit of silicone on the seal. I don't, I don't think I really need it. But since I'm here, Myself. All right, that's it. Back together. Hopefully, you can see that. You got some silicone on there. Looks like crap. But hopefully, it'll work. Uh, I'll post below down in the uh, down in the uh, description how well this works throughout the weeks. I'll post this video probably tonight. And, uh, really won't know after you drive it around for 
Because sometimes a code would go off after 10 miles, sometimes it would go, go off after, you know, 200. So, I would keep on posting whether or not this worked, and uh, no, it really wasn't too bad. I, I should have been doing this last year, and I got away with it, uh, you know, until now, but... I want to get the car inspected. I gotta get that uh, code off. I'd like to get it off permanently. Like I said, it does go off temporarily, but hopefully this will be permanent now. And you know, it's just uh, right behind the passenger rear tire. That's all I did. Just took off the passenger rear tire, jacked her up. She was right there. You know, she's underneath there. Didn't have to really take anything else off. You can get around to it. Alright, to the next one.